Welcome to Title I, Fourth Grade. Tonight we're going to be reading A Quiet Place by Douglas Wood. Picture books are still great even for fourth graders, and this one is a 4.1 and is an AR book, so a test can be taken. Always read a picture book twice. Sometimes a person needs a quiet place, a place to rest your ears from bells ringing, whistles shrieking, and grown-ups talking, and engines roaring, and horns blaring, and grown-ups talking, and radios playing, and grown-ups, well, even grown-ups need a quiet place sometimes. It can be hard to find one. You have to know where to look. You can look under a bush, a lilac bush in your own backyard. When you crawl underneath it, all the sounds of the world seem soft and far away. And you can be a pirate finding buried treasure on a desert island. A bush can be your quiet place. Until someone calls you to clean your room, then you could look in the woods. You might find an old stump for a chair, a mossy log for a couch, a green mansion of shadows and sunbeams. It's not really quiet, of course. Blue jay screaming warnings, the wind sings in the leaves, but it feels quiet and you can be a timber wolf, a gray ghost of the forest. The woods can be your quiet place. But if the woods are too dark and deep, you could look by the sea on a beach in the early morning fog. Your footprints are the first of the day. The waves are roaring, the gulls are crying, but it doesn't seem noisy. You can just be an explorer, discovering a lost continent. The beach could be your quiet place. If a beach is not your cup of tea, you could look in the desert where old man Saguaro reaches for the sky and far off thunderheads bloom like sky flowers over the mesa. A cactus wren drops by for a visit while a horned toad blinks in the sun. You can be a Pony Express rider galloping through the Old West. The desert can be your quiet place. But if the desert is a bit too dry, you can sit by a pond. A heron by the shore stands still as a tree branch and the water is so calm it looks like a mirror. Then a frog plops from a lily pad and your face begins to wiggle and you can be the world's greatest fisherman reeling in a monster catch. A pond can be your quiet place, but if the fish aren't biting, you can look in a cavern where every footstep echoes and the slow drip drip of the water builds new rocks that hang like icicles or stand like sculptures where days and nights and weeks and years are all the same. And you can be a cave dweller in the lair of the saber-toothed tiger. A cave could be your quiet place. But if a cave is too cold and damp, you could climb to the top of a hill where clouds float by like ships or alligators or elephants on a hilltop, you can see a long way and think long thoughts and how and what and why. And can you be a mountain climber on the top of the world? A hilltop can be your quiet place. But if your legs are too tired for climbing, you could wait for a snowy day and lie down in a snow drift all around you the falling snow whispers and wraps the world in silence. If you listen closely, you can almost hear it breathing. You breathe softly too, pretending to be a polar bear sleeping in a land where the snowy silence never ends. A snowdrift can be your quiet place, but if it's too warm for snowdrifts, you could visit a museum 
where brass tigers and bronze lions stand silent guard over fabulous treasures. Every painting is a magic window that your own imagination can open wide and climb through. And you can be an artist admiring your own masterpiece. A museum could be your quiet place. But if the museum is closed for renovation, you could go to a secret corner of the library where the only people talking are between the covers of books. They speak softly. You can hear them in your head as you read about forests and oceans and deserts and caverns and museums and thousands of other things. A library can be your quiet place. But if the library isn't open yet, you could come home and clean your room and read your own books and think your own thoughts and feel your own feelings and discover the very best quiet place of all, the one that's always there no matter where you go or where you stay is the one inside of you.